How do y'all? Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another lesson and today we're going to talk about trigonometry. And I'm going to assume that you uh, know Pythagorean theorem, right triangles, reciprocals, and geometry. So what is trigonometry? Trigonometry is the study of triangles and the relationship between the sides and the angles and specifically we're going to talk about the right triangle and you remember a right triangle is a triangle with a 90 degree angle and we call the two sides legs and the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse and there are six basic trig functions that we need to know sine cosine tangent cosecant secant and cotangent and these three are known as the reciprocal functions. All right, what is sine? Sine is defined as the side opposite the angle over hypotenuse. Now we're going to use theta as a symbol for our angle. And so sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse, which is going to be y over r. Cosine is the side adjacent theta over hypotenuse. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which as you can tell from our triangle is x over r. And then tangent is going to be the side opposite over the side adjacent. And tangent theta is opposite over adjacent, which equals y over x. And it's very important that we get these ideas down. So here's a little way to help you remember it. I call it Sokotoa. And the so is side opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is side adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is side opposite over side adjacent. Now let's look at the reciprocal functions. Reciprocal just means take it and flip it over. Cosecant theta is just the reciprocal of sine. Flip it over and get r over y. Secant is the reciprocal of cosine which is just hypotenuse over adjacent then. Flip it over and you get r over x. And cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So you take your tangent, which is opposite over adjacent, flip it over and you have x over y. Now you need to know these functions so we can do a little practice. Now find the sine of theta. Well, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse and there's the opposite side. So it's 3 over 5 or 3 fifths. Find the cosine of theta. All right. That's adjacent over hypotenuse. And so there's our adjacent side. And we have 4 over 5. And then tangent. The tangent of theta is going to just be side opposite over adjacent. Which means then it's going to be 4 over 3. And notice I chose a different angle this time. Always be on the lookout for that. Okay, let's practice the reciprocal function. Now, reciprocal functions are just the standard functions flipped over. Well, since cosecant is the uh, reciprocal of sine, we're just going to do hypotenuse over opposite, which is then going to be 5 thirds. Find the secant of theta. Okay, well, secant goes with the cosine, so it's just going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. And there's our adjacent side, so it's going to be 5 over 4. And then to find the cotangent of theta, we just take tangent, flip it over, which we'll grab uh, the adjacent and opposite sides, 3 over 4. It's very important you get these ratios down. So let's take a little quiz. Find the trig functions of the following right triangle and uh, angle theta. Well, sine over theta is going to be x over uh, r because r is our hypotenuse. Cosine theta is going to be y over r and tangent theta is going to be x over y. And these are very common definitions of the trig functions, and it behooves you to know them. Now, cosecant theta is r over x. 
secant theta is going to be r over y, and cotangent theta is going to be y over x. All right, let's recap. We talked about trigonometry, sine, cosine, and tangent. We then looked at cosecant, secant, and cotangent, and we want to make sure we know SOHCAHTOA. All right, if you have any questions, uh, zip off an email to me at mrkazi at mrkazi.com, and then be sure to uh, like my uh, videos and watch some of my videos. And most of all, don't forget to subscribe.